food saver. It does exactly like it says on the commercial. It seals your food, airtight, and freezer ready. This money-saving breakthrough comes to you thanks to the people at Tilia, the leading manufacturer of easy-to-use home vacuum-saving products for over eight years. You've seen how professionally vacuum-saved foods last for months, as long as they're not open. Well, get ready to see how you can get all the benefits of an expensive commercial vacuum packaging machine over and over again, thanks to the greatest thing to happen to food since the invention of the refrigerator. Introducing the Food Saver Compact 2. You know, ever since I was introduced to professional home vacuum saving, over, gosh, two years ago now, it's become one of the most important activities we do in our kitchen. You remember the frozen meats with the freezer burn and the moldy cheese, the limp dehydrated vegetables, the cash in the trash? Believe me, they are all a thing of the past. Now, my family can enjoy, well, this sweet corn, and we can have it in the middle of February with the same crunch and taste that it had right after it was picked. That's right. I, too, now have become a real freshness fanatic. Well, our friends at Tilia have another food saver that also gives you the benefits of the professional vacuum saving machine, but listen to this, at a more economical price. That is so exciting, a more economical price. And who's the best person to introduce us to this? The original freshness fanatic, of course, my buddy and yours, Jan Muller. Hi, kiddo. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Great to see you again. You're right, I'm more fanatic about freshness than ever before, and here's why. Someone tried to save money by buying cheese in bulk, because it's lower cost, sure. right? And even though they wrapped it in this heavy-duty plastic wrap, mm -hmm. it's already started to go bad just after a couple of months. So what have they got here? Cash in, in the, the trash, because even though they wanted to save money, they're throwing it away. Here's the other half of the bulk cheese vacuum packed in the food saver bag. I want to show you exactly how easy it is yes. and we'll check and just see how fresh this cheese is even though it's been vacuum packed for right. months. All you do is cut right below the seal to get inside of the bag. That's the only part of the bag that you throw I away. I love that. Open it up and take out whatever you've stored like this fantastic Monterey Jack cheese. I want to do something. I'm going to cut off two pieces mm -hmm. and show you how you can actually extend the life of your cheese. Take the leftover block of cheese, put it in one of the food saver bags, mm -hmm. put it right here inside the vacuum channel close it, lock it, and just turn it on with one finger. It's going to pump the air back out of the cheese and re-vacuum save it. Remember, you first have to get the air out and then seal it. That's what makes the food saver completely different from everything else. You can do it again and again and again and again until all the cheese is gone, and if you just do it, you never have this. Exactly. Now look, here we've got it vacuum saved instead of throwing it away in the trash can. Okay, let's try an experiment. I've cut off two hunks of the Monterey Jack cheese. I'm going to give you one of these new bags with the slider seal on okay. it. Okay. And I'm going to take a specially designed food saver vacuum packaging bag. I'm going to take my piece of cheese. So go ahead, put your cheese in. All right. And I'll do mine and you do yours. And see what happens. I do this at home and I do this all the time. What happens when I used to do this, even with this new slider top, what I used to do here, you try to push the air out. Right. It became my opinion that all I ever did was successfully lock the air in. I've locked in the freshness with the food saver. Yeah. You've locked in the air. Because I don't care what you do, even if you try to suck the air out before you close this little slider. It doesn't, it doesn't no, work it doesn't because work. they're not designed to keep the air from going in and out. Take a look at this. You can put meat or poultry in a food saver bag, vacuum save it, it'll stay fresh frozen in the freezer for up to three years. How about fresh vegetables? You can vacuum save your fresh vegetables, put them in the refrigerator, and now they'll last three to five times longer because we're locking in the freshness. I think we all try everything. Like you put these things into the crisper drawer, that doesn't work. No, I I call that the limper drawer because if you ever noticed whatever you put in that drawer comes out limper That's a good not name anymore for it. use the food saver that'll last longer and how about taking all of your leftovers and turning them into second servings actually making your own homemade frozen TV dinners that your family will eat you know what's so great about this it's actually used I'd leave it in the refrigerator till it was so bad you couldn't eat it then I'd throw it away now I save it and we eat it yes because we've all been raised to know it's a sin to waste food yes then look what everybody goes through to save food you you put it in plastic bags and it goes bad. You put it in plastic containers and it goes bad. Yeah. You put it in other plastic bags that are hand sealed. This is supposed to keep it fresh and it doesn't. Here's the other half of that block of cheese that was vacuum saved with the food saver bag. Here's the other half that was sealed with the hand sealer. This you can still eat for up to six months in your refrigerator. And every time you want to get into that cheese, you just cut right below the seal 
you take out the cheese, and then you just have to re-vacuum save it. Now listen, is it worth five seconds to save the cheese instead of throwing it away? <laughs> well, because if you don't do that, what happens is you're throwing away so much money. That cash in the trash you talk about, how much money are we throwing away, Jen? Well, I know from my own personal experience, I was throwing over $20 a week away things like meats with freezer burn, cheese, and what about dry goods? So you can throw away over $1,000 worth of food every year unless you use the food saver to re-vacuum save it. Let me show you the power of the food saver. Now I have six empty soda cans in a food saver bag connected to the food saver. I'm gonna turn on the pump. Remember, Nancy, this is not a toy. It's not a gimmick. This pumps all of the air out of the bag. It's a commercial quality pump. This is not something I do a lot in my <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> well, no, but I'm using this to show you that it truly does have the power to get all the air out of the bag because when you take out the air, the atmospheric pressure crushes what is ever inside that bag, you just know like what we crush these. Continues to dazzle Look at me. that. Yeah. Now you have the power of a commercial quality professional vacuum packaging system, just like this one that costs over $2,500 that they use for vacuum packaging cheese. But look what they do. First, they remove the air and then they seal it. And that's exactly what we do here with the Food Saver. Now, the magic of the Food Saver is in these specially designed bags, patented air channels on one side of the bag. If we had two smooth sides of the bag, it would collapse on itself and you wouldn't get all the air out three protective layers, FDA-approved materials, and that means that this bag is boilable, microwavable, freezable, reusable, and it's even, just like a glass, dishwasher safe. And I'll tell you what, I think that's really important, too, because all this other stuff I've tried over the years, you use it and you toss it. I don't like throwing things away. This you use again and again and again and again. You'll have the food saver for the rest of your life. No It'll become the most important appliance in your home, and if all you ever used it for was just to re-vacuum save your cheese, you'd always have great, fresh, tasting cheese whenever you want it. And people have no idea how much food they're actually wasting in the freezer, even though they think it's being preserved. Take a look at this. You know what freezer burn is? It's awful. It, yeah, oxidation, dehydration, and it ends up looking like this. Oh, the protective barrier we get on the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, is it's destroying the flavor, destroying the taste, the texture of it. Half the time, you don't even know what it is because the freezer burn has gotten so bad. No more, because with the Food Saver, you can now eliminate freezer burn, which is the enemy of freshness. Here I've got four steaks putting it in the Food Saver bag, vacuum saving it so that I can put it in my freezer. I can now keep this fresh frozen in the freezer for up to three years with no freezer burn. Three years. And in a few seconds, you've done it. Yeah, it's no. not a big deal. Look at these two pieces of salmon. Can you tell any difference in the vacuum packaging? No. This was done with the Food Saver. This was done commercially. Now you can get your fish at the supermarket and vacuum package it. It'll stay fresh frozen for up to two years in the freezer. What about making pies just once or twice a year, vacuum saving them and freezing them? Then you can eat pie all year long. Vacuum save them, put them in the freezer. And here's a tip for people that love to cook. After Thanksgiving, I make a turkey broth. I put it into an ice cube tray, freeze it, and then vacuum package the cube. So now I've got my own broth, and that'll stay fresh frozen in my freezer with no freezer burn. I won't lose the flavor, the color, the texture. I love that idea. Isn't that great? If all you ever used your food saver for was to eliminate freezer burn, you'd never have to be afraid of freezer burn again. But what? I love preparing meals for the future. Yeah, meals in advance.